Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from Pixelmon Revolution. And today I think I'm going to be doing a little bit of fun stuff. A couple of little things I need to do. One, I'm still going to continue my quest to catch as many Pokemon as possible. But two, I also want to try to get some of the Ditto Egg thing kind of going. I need to find a spot to actually set that up. Because uh, it's, it's long overdue. I actually have two Dittos. I could actually be doing that. So let's just get right on into it. And oh, look at this. There's a, there's a, uh, there's a Shulker box right here. I did peek inside quick already, and I saw, oh, it's it's present. Okay, so check this out. Bam! I got a bunch of Pokeballs and stuff put in here. I got Quick Balls, I got Timer Balls, I got Ultra Balls, there's all sorts of stuff. And somebody left me a note, so let's go check it out. It's from Snow. Oh, nice. All right. <clears throat> all right, so, uh, hey, Grimer, thought these would help you out uh, with the Poke hunting. Uh, quick Balls are my favorite. Happy hunting, Snow. Well, thank you very much, Snow. Awesome. I will definitely be using these things. Actually, let's grab some of these right now. Let's get a stack of them in my inventory right now. Uh, let's top off on timer balls too. Look at this. This is amazing. Awesome. Thank you very much. In fact, she's on right now. Uh, hey, thanks for the poke balls. All right. So that's uh, very nice of you, Snow. Thank you very much. All right. I think I'll definitely be using those. Uh, let's see what, uh, what what can I go find now. Let's go take a peek at the. Uh, no problem. Oh man, she's such a great person. All right. Let's go take a a peek at the Pokedex here and see how far I've come since the last episode. All right, I'm up to 45%. I have been doing a little bit of catching off camera. Uh, anything I come across, I basically catch if I don't have it. So I need to evolve up my Charmander, obviously. That's one thing that I could do. But, you know, evolutions are kind of boring. You just you just basically go grind it out on like a Ghost Tower or a Wild Pokemon or something like that until they evolve. So I'm going to skip over that. But if you see these first ones, I got quite a few of them. I don't have a Sand Slash. Does this actually appear someplace? At night in the desert. Okay, I have been out in the desert quite a bit. I haven't actually seen this thing. So I think that's going to be a pretty rare spawn. So I'm going to skip over that. I'll just evolve my sand true once, uh, once I get there. Uh, these ones I can evolve. Which ones can I go after? Hold on, I'll find one. All right, Growlithe. Here's one that I should be able to go after. This is the uh, this is straight up in the savannas, it looks like, which there is one nearby here. Let's go see if we can't catch ourselves a Growlithe. All right, here I am in the savannas. During the day, it's clear weather. This is where they should spawn. I might have to sleep through the night to get the uh, to keep the day going, uh, which I do have a bed on me. I could probably ask Snow to sleep as well. Shouldn't be much of a deal. Ooh, I should. Have... Oh no, I actually don't need to really grab too much more metal because I already have my Meltan. Although I do need to um, smelt up a bunch of metal with Meltan in my party to get him to evolve. So I will eventually need to do that. Ah, maybe I'll go grab that. There's some free iron right there. I'm not going to say no. And iron's kind of valuable in Pixelmon, so they'll give a chance for uh, anything to spawn in here too. Let me grab this real quick. Awesome. Now let me. Uh, Get up, Merka out here, and fly straight out of here. All right, is there a Growlithe anywhere? Uh, no, I don't see one. Oh, actually, he would have appeared to the savannah also, but I'm noticing it's saying at afternoon. I think it has to be right at midday, actually, so maybe I have to come back here at midday. What else can we go hunt for in the meantime? Ooh, here we go, okay, uh, Magnemite, okay, is found at afternoon or dusk in the ice mountains uh, and Extreme Hills M. Okay, let's see if I can quickly find an Extreme Hills M, because that would probably be where we're probably gonna find him or get to quickly. Extreme Hills M, search. Oh, it's dusk right now. Dang it. Oh, it's four kilometers away. Okay, that's not gonna work because <laughs> it's dusk right now. Oh, and in case you guys didn't know, I got this Orb of Fiery Souls chilling on my hotbar here. This is actually going to allow me just to go through and uh, and basically uh, fill it up as I defeat Pokemon until I'm able to go catch uh, Moltres. So I've been working on filling up these orbs. I have one more that uh, that I did a little bit of grinding off camera. Actually, I can probably show you guys that real quick. Here, we don't even actually need an egg. I can probably show you guys that real quick. Let me uh, oops, let me check out my uh, Kadabra or my Alakazam here and run back here, and then. Uh, let's get back up to Rocket Tower while we're waiting for the afternoon to hit. We've got a little bit of time still. Um, I've been working on this. Let's go right in here. Bink, 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 and check this out. I got... Is it in here? No, where is it? It's one of these things. I get these confused. Here we go. Bam! 11 Ice Stone Shards. Okay, now I only need 9 because with 9 of them, I can go ahead and make myself an Ice Stone. And in here, I have an additional Empty Orb. I can take that and combine it to get, bam, the Orb of Frozen Souls. All right, we're gonna put that right back in here because I can only fill up one at a time. So we're gonna put that in there for right now, but that's gonna help us get Articuno. All right, so let's get back over to the Savannah because it's just about mid-afternoon, and uh, or just about midday. Yeah, and I need to uh, I need to be there for whenever uh, Growlithe spawns. 
All right, the sun is high in the sky. I'm thinking that this is probably just about time. Let's get down here and actually whoop, land right here. Crash my Dragonite right, <laughs> right into the tree. And, uh, and let's see if we can't get this guy to spawn in now. Aha! There's one right there. Bam! I actually thought I was going to miss this one. All right, so <laughs> we do have a Growlithe here. Look at this. Let's see if we can't catch this one. Uh, false swipe him down. And then, oh, I should have thrown a quick ball. One of the things that uh, that uh, Snow gave me. I should have gave him one. Or I should have uh, thrown one right, right away. All right, let's go ahead and swap out and put him to sleep right away too. Because I think this one could be a little bit of a trick to catch. Um, let's go ahead and spore. Snooze Growlithe. All right. Oh, there's a Victini spawned in the in the biome here. Nifty. All right, let's go ahead and I already have Victini, so I'm not overly concerned with that. Let's throw an Ultra Ball and see if we can't catch him, and see if Snow wants this Victini. Bam! Captured Growlithe. Awesome. All right, so let's see if uh, let's see if we can find the Victini first, and then we'll ask Snow if she uh, if she wants it. Ah, there he is. Okay, I found him. The Victini was just here. Where did he go? He look. Did he walk? Down here is it? Oh, there's a there's a uh, a graveler that's a uh, what do you call him? The um, one of the ones from uh, a low the an Alolan graveler it looks like. Let's uh, let's see if we can't catch this one. This would, that'd be awesome. Let's put him to sleep for one. And I'm gonna try because I think these things know explode. So um, hopefully he doesn't hopefully he doesn't blow up. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Got him. All right, sweet. Caught caught an Alolan looking graveler. That's pretty crazy. But now where is this Victini? I saw him. I wasn't hallucinating. He was here. I don't know where he went. That's kind of crazy. I saw him there, and I just typed to, to Snow and Chad, hey, do you want him? And he seems to have vanished. I don't know if he despawned right in front of me, which I guess is entirely possible. Let's go check these caves. Maybe he wandered down in them. Well, I can't find the Victini, unfortunately, but there's a Dewblade here, and I don't know if I have this one. I believe this is a Ghost Steel type, so I don't think I can use my False Swipe on it because it's Ghost and stuff. No, I don't have Dewblade yet, so let's just Leech Seed him down and try to catch him. Oh, I forgot to use the Quick Ball. Hold on, let me let me actually let me actually back out of this real quick and just throw the Quick Ball at him. Let's see. Yeah, all right, let's try the Quick Ball right away. Nope, we're in for the long haul, people. All right, caught him with a regular Pokeball. <laughs> All right, he wasn't even all that weak. I don't know where Victini went, so I think I'm just gonna have to say, yeah, it must have despawned. Snow is almost here. I can see her on the map now, but yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like Victini must have despawned right in front of me, which is unfortunate. So, oh well, there's no use crying over spilled milk. So I think it's time that we get going, uh, and we end up heading out to the ice mountains because I kind of missed the the dawn or the dusk of a. Uh, uh, of the when I could have caught Magnemite. Do I have a Rapidash? Because there's one right there, actually. Let me take a look. look. Rapidash, do I have you? Yes, I do. I can barely see the Pokeball behind its tail, but I do have that one already. All right, let's go. Let's go run out to uh, uh, to the Ice Mountains, and we're gonna wait there all day until uh, the dusk hits, and then hopefully we'll be able to catch ourselves a Magnemite. We were successful with the Growlithe, barely, right at the end of the in the afternoon is when he showed up. So. Let's see if we can't get out here to the ice mountains and catch ourselves a Magnemite. Well, there's an ice spikes biome here, which is pretty cool. I think the legendary actually spawns in the ice spikes biome. I'm not sure. No, Victini, it says. Oh, that's because uh, that's because uh, snow is out in the savannah right now. <clears throat> that's kind of nifty. All right, so the ice mountains, though. Oh, was I, am I, what, am I passing over them? Do they count the glaciers as ice mountains? Or is there like a tiny little patch of them someplace? I think that's it right there. Snover. Snover, do I have you? No, I don't. <laughs> Let's see if we can't catch this. I forgot the quick ball again. I always forget the quick Oh, I'm frozen solid. That's not good. Uh, let's uh, let's keep going until I'm hopefully thawed out. I did thaw it right away. Nice. All right. And then, uh, and then let's... Oh, he's a grass type. So let's just go and chuck the ultra ball at him because I can't put him to sleep with the spore. And... Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't have Snover. He was right there. Oh, he, he broke out. Ooh, False Swipe is uh, not looking so good right now. Let's see. Uh, what would do good against... None of these things would go good against Grass. So this guy at least heals up, so let's put him in. And, uh... Because uh, I don't want my False Swipe guy to get knocked out. Right, let's start, let's start chuck, chucking the Ultra Balls. Is this... Am I in the biome right now? Like, does this count this as Ice Mountains? 
kind of makes me wonder. Okay, captured Snover. Let's let's take a peek because it's only 11 blocks this way. So yeah, we're talking like right here. Ice Mountains. This is considered Ice Mountains. This is a very small Ice Mountains, it looks like. Very, very small. Ice, uh, this is Ice Spikes. Yep, the Ice Plains. Is it just that little hill back there? Is that it? Oof. That's going to be rough to try to find them in there. Alright, I'll wait for them, though. Okay, we're back here at spawn here at the towers because that trip was actually successful, but I completely forgot to uh, to hit record, but I did find two magnemites. I also found a clink while I was out there too, so it was kind of a successful mission. I didn't have any of those things. I got two of them, so uh, I can evolve one all the way up. I guess I didn't really need to catch two of them, but it looks like this one has metal coat on it, which I'm actually going to snag off of them because that will come in handy. You know, let me drop those for right now. That'll come in handy here in a little bit. So, um... Uh, let me just throw that on somebody right now so I can pick up my flowers again. Um, Alright, so that'll come in handy uh, a little bit later because we're going to need that to actually evolve certain Pokemon. So yeah, th those two trips were successful. So now, we're back here at spawn because I need to find a place to... Uh, I need to find a place to build this, uh, this, uh, this Ditto Breeder here, actually. So let's, go, let's sort my inventory and then we'll start hunting down a spot where I can actually put this. Now, I would actually probably like to put it down here in the underground area that Maddie's been working on, but I don't think we're ready yet because we have to do a lot of decorating down here still before we even focus on like where we're going to put the breeding chambers and stuff. we got to get the, the legendary Pokemon cells put into place also. So I think I'm going to probably move on out to, I'm guessing the, uh, I'm guessing the, the oh, that's a tiny little graveler. <laughs> uh, I'm, I think I'm going to move on out to the, um, to the desert actually and uh, set up something there because that's a uh, that's where I got uh, my town being built and I might as well just start kind of moving things on over there to make that my more main base actually although Rocket Inc will still be my, my main facility obviously where most of my stuff is stored but I think I'll have to find a spot out here maybe build a small building to actually do this I mean it would make sense if there was actually like a Pokemon breeding area in town so uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to include here we go. All right, so we're out here at the town. Now, where, oh, where, let's land a poop right here on the roof. Uh, where, oh, where am I going to put this? Um, hmm. I mean, here's where the stadium's going to go. Here's where the, where the arena and the gym is going. Uh, so, and I don't really need it to be much larger than right here, just kind of compass in this area. So probably close to where I actually already am right now. Maybe I can smooth out this hill right here. I was, I was planning on building it, the road going up like this. You can see I already started on here, but maybe if I took these guys out and smoothed off this entire area right here, I could actually put a nice little breeding station right here. And I kind of like the idea of that. So let's get the, let's get the shovel out here and let's just go ham on this and clear this all out. All right, all flattened out. Now the road I'm gonna have actually have this continue going this way because I want it to dead end, kind of right around here. So it, basically, I'm thinking about putting the building. This might actually, this could actually be the building right here, and then this will be like the fields for where the uh, Pokemon uh, breeders actually are. Oh, let's get rid of this little bit of gravel here too. Um, this, uh, yeah, this could actually be the building right here on the corner, and then the breeders could be right here. I think that would work, because that way I could put more than one. At first, I was thinking about just trying to, trying to squeeze one in there, but I mean, doing the... Oh, look at this. Sandile wants to tussle. Wants to have at it here. There you go. Bam. Goodbye, Sandile. Um, yeah, and then that way I could put more than one. I could put the Ditto one, and then any other one I might need, or I could switch it up, vice versa. Now, this is going to look a little weird. Oh, he's killing himself on a cactus. Here, let me help you out a little bit there. If you, if you want to die on a, if you want to die so quickly, let me, let me help you out. At least I'll get the XP for it. Um... Uh, that way I can I can set up multiple breeders here. So now if this is the building, now I need to make I need to make a lot of stuff actually. Let me um let me actually I think uh, uh, Maddie was kind enough to give me a bunch of supplies in here. Oh Gibble, please let me, <laughs> let me get rid of this thing. Oh he's he's ground. I can't use electric attacks. All right. Um, but uh, she was kind enough to uh, set me up with a bunch of stuff here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this as storage also. She put a bunch of sand and gravel in there so that I could actually make a bunch of green uh, concrete powder. And it's very, very, very much appreciated. Um, so let me, let me clear up some room there so I can actually do the inventory. Um, <laughs> Alright, so now I need to actually need to head back to the tower and actually build myself. It looks like two uh, ranch blocks is what I need to build. Maybe I'll get some Porygon pieces out of this, because I still don't have Porygon, actually, if you if you believe it. I built quite a few things, but uh, Porygon. No, I don't have Porygon or Porygon Z, or none of them. I, I've never seen them yet, even. even. So, 
All right, let's uh, let's fly back. Actually, let's let's, uh, let's teleport back to um, uh, to spawn and maybe heal up our guys, and then uh, and let's get to work on building ourselves a couple of these ranch blocks. All right, I got another leg from making the two PCs right there, but uh, I actually have everything except for the Porygon head, so I gotta keep going until I get that. Um, okay, so now I got the two PCs to make a ranch block. I need a flower pot and a piston, so now I just gotta make two pistons and two flower pots. So let's get a little bit of redstone. Uh, let's get some cobble. Where did I put the cobble? I think it's in here. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of cobble in there. Do I have any wood planks just chilling here? I got three and two. Dang it. I almost have exactly the right amount that I would need. So I'm going to need to make uh, a couple of these things. Let's go ahead and stash that one extra plank in there. Now I have three. Uh, and then I think that's it. Oh, the flower pots. The flower pots are the other thing. Where, where did I put my clay? Some right there. You know, while I'm at it, I might as well make a healer to put out at the uh, at the uh, the desert place. Oh, ah, uh, snow is taking off. Bye. Um, yeah, I might as well make a healer to put out at the desert uh, town over there because uh, I mean it'd be helpful to have one there. Uh, let's go ahead and make a couple of these pots then, and let's start making these uh, these ranch uh, blocks. And bam, and there's that one, and bam, there's that two. I didn't get a single Porygon piece of making the healer or any of the ranch blocks. I only got one from making one of the PCs. Maybe you only get them from making PCs. I might have to make a few more of those. Um, all right, so that should be everything I need for out at. The, actually, you know what? I should make one more spare PC just to put out at the at the, at the place out, out there as well, uh, so that I can. I mean, I'll, I carry one around at all times, so it's not like it's a huge deal. But um, if anyone else passing by doesn't have a PC on them, it might come in real handy to be able to swing by the desert town and, and pick one up. So let me make one more. Did not get a Porygon piece from that either. What a bunch of jerks! They didn't <laughs> didn't give me one. All right, so let's uh, let's head out there and place uh, and place these uh, these these uh, PCs or these uh, Porygon, not Porygon. Geez, what am I trying to say? Place these ranch blocks. Wow, I'm totally losing my train of thought. And see uh, see if we how much space we actually have. If we have enough to actually place two, if we have to do a little bit of terraforming, can I please? Can I please? I'm having some leg issues. Can't throw up my Pokemon. No. All right, now I can throw it out. I don't know what was up with that. I think it's well the server was backing up. I was having some issues or so. But all right. Out towards the the, um, the desert town I go. All right, I guess I'll throw them in here for right now. The the PC and the the healer for into this building. Although that's not going to be my focus center, but for right now it'll work well. I'm out here. I know I'm going to waste a diamond doing this because I'm going to have to break down the the uh, the healer. But whatever, it'll be fine. Let's throw those in there for right now, so at least we have a place to heal up. <clears throat> now over here, I also should probably put a PC in the the uh, the. The ranch here, but let's see uh, how far out these things reach. I think it's 15 blocks, so I'm gonna want like a fence, like right here. Yeah, uh, maybe press up against building. I'm gonna leave one spot though. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pink right there. Uh, one, two, three, four. It only goes up. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right, so it goes out four, which puts me out to right about here. I need to get some blocks on my bar or something like that so I can mark these things out. Is that right? Yeah, okay, right there. That's where one fence would be. So one, two, three, four, right here. Now, I know I can upgrade these ranch blocks so that they can reach farther, but I, I, considering how close I am already to the edge, I don't really know if I need them to be. I'm not going for doing like a super huge breeding operation here. I just want something kind of functional just a little bit. Uh, now, I do want to make some... Uh, I think I can make sandstone walls in this mod pack. I know this uh, you can in vanilla Minecraft, but uh, uh, I don't think you can in... In uh, in this, unless we use, uh, or what are they called? This block craftery, uh, block craftery. I'm gonna have to look it up. I can't remember how it's how it's made. It's made with the sticks and stuff like that. Let me let me get back to, to town real quick so I can see what mod it is because we have stuff built there and I kind of for, <laughs> forgot how to do it. Framed wall. That's what it's called. That's what I was trying to remember. We can make framed walls, and it is part of block craftery. I don't know why I wasn't being able to find that, but. Uh, framed wall, right there, bam. Reinforced frame wall, don't really need that. It's called oh, editable wall, I thought it said edible. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, framed wall. So it's just these things, and these things are just made out of sticks. That's what I was talking about when I was like, it's just sticks. So yeah, I'm gonna probably use these to create some like sandstone fences and stuff like that around there. Oh, freaking, who is this, <laughs> Lillipup? Wait, I, I, don't, I have Lillipup, right? Yeah, okay, let's, uh, 
Let's discharge you into oblivion. Um, so I'm going to need to grab some wood because I'm going to need to make a bunch of these things. And then we're also going to need to build up the, the building itself that's over there too because that's kind of important. <laughs> All right, I got myself about two stacks of this stuff. Hopefully that's enough. Let's uh, let's fly on over there, take off on the roof again, and see uh, see if we can uh, put an entire fence around both of these ranches. Oh, trap inch, please! I'm I'm too busy trying to build stuff. I don't have time for you. <laughs> All right, so right here, let's uh, let's mark out where the edge of this thing is, and I'm gonna go one block beyond that then, for for marking out the fence. I think does that make sense? Is that a good thing to do? Because I think they can wander like on top of the fence and I want them to keep them inside here. So I'm going to start right there. In fact, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this one back. Um, oh, I lost count already. Dang it. <laughs> I'm going to put a, make it so that we can actually... Eh, uh, four blocks. So one, two, three, four. This one and that one's where I want the fence to be actually put a fence block there and then counting it's gonna be one two three four and then right here actually I think I need to place this facing that way so I can actually get to it later all right so this is where the fence is actually going to be and I'm going to leave uh, actually I need a I need a an axe to chop this faster leave a little opening right there so I can get to it perfect all right yep all right this is exactly what I was thinking of all right so let's bring this fence out right here and then bring it in right here and then this also will allow me to let's see one, two, three, four, one space, the fence right here. So it'll also allow me to like right now I'm just slapping on this fence in a nice square formation. Kinda looks like crap actually. I'm gonna probably be able to jazz this up a little bit, maybe make it a little curved on the edges and stuff like that. By leaving myself an extra block, I can actually do that. Now this one one, two, three, four space, right here is where the fence goes. By leaving myself an extra block, I can actually kind of give myself a little bit of room for, for some detailing and whatnot. So, like right here, I could actually do this, and it'd be just fine. Um, and I'll work on I'll work on those details, you know, a little bit later. But for right now, I'm just trying to get these things filled in. I, I should have enough blocks to do this. And let's uh, let's bring this all the way over to like right there. This one can come all the way down to alongside here as well. There's a fennekin right there. I believe I have fennekin. I'm thinking I have this one already, do I? Yeah, I do. Uh, let me just uh, C-bomb this one into oblivion, take the blaze powder, and then send its stick on its merry way. <laughs> Alright, that means that there's going to have to be a way in here from this t uh, this building, so there's going to be a doorway right there. Alright, so now, the way that you work these uh, these uh, these frame blocks is you right-click on them with a block that you want them to take the place, and voila, look at that, we have a sandstone wall here in, in uh, version uh, 1... <laughs> 112, we have a sandstone wall right here, bam. I uh, love mod of Minecraft, it's a lot of fun. All right, let's go ahead and fill all these things in. And if I do want to change these later, I can always, like I said, well, not, not necessarily change the frame, uh, the sandstone, but change the shape of this, I can always do that later, so it's not a big deal. Whoops, that's kind of a big deal though. Okay, I think that's it, I think that's all I want to do. Now these things, I brought the corners in just a little bit so they don't look perfectly square, they kind of look more like they're sort of fenced in. I didn't do anything to that back one, but that's fine, I think that's fine. They don't all have to be kind of curved in like that, I think they can kind of be, sort of, oh, Gibble, please. Uh, oh, he's ground, I keep forgetting. <laughs> uh, let's take him out quick. Uh, oh, I don't have any room to hold any of that. Anyway, that's fine. I need to organize my inventory bad, though, like something fierce here. Alright, so this, this back wall is kind of straight, but that, that's okay. Now, I need to work on the building itself right now, which I don't have a lot of sandstone in my inventory. In fact, I need to kind of do a little bit of a inventory dump over here. Like, I don't need that. I don't need one nugget of that. I don't need one stick. Um, gravel I'll keep because that's kind of valuable. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to grab, sort my inventory real quick, get to work on building this building, and hopefully I can get this done quickly.
Well, look at that. I don't actually have Canner up, and he just attacked me, so sure, I'll fight him and catch him. <laughs> Alright, bam. Canner up has been caught. No problem. Alright, so this is what I got done so far. <clears throat> before the cam camera uh, interrupted me there. Uh, we've been having a couple legendary spawn in here. I think there's a Caldeo over here in the river as well. Yeah, right there. I don't actually need that one either. Uh, I've got those. Uh, that and uh, Hoopa spawned while I was doing this. But this is what I got so far. I still need to put the buttons on the end of the, the logs here. But for the most part, the building itself, I think, is done. Came up with this kind of clever little Pokeball-looking design right there. Now, this doesn't signify, like, a healer or a store or any at all. Because this isn't either one of those things. This is actually just the breeding area. So I think a Pokeball, just a regular Pokeball, would be kind of a, a good way. Like, I think I'm going to put a nice big red cross uh, on the, the healing station or the, the Poke Center type thing. Um, and then maybe make a blue version of a Pokeball or something like that for where the shop's going to be. This is just the healer. Um, I just realized uh, I do actually need to get something. Uh, there's still some fine details that I need to do on this thing. So let's go ahead and grab my Murica here. Fly up over here. Drop off. Do a little landing. Bam. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to need... One, I just need to dump some stuff out of my inventory that I don't need, like this stuff. <laughs> and then two, actually, I can go ahead and uh, chuck these things in there as well. And then I need to get just some regular good old sandstone and make some stairs out of this stuff. Because I need to get back on this guy. Oh, actually, you know what? While I'm here, hold on one second. Uh, while I'm here, let me grab some of this uh, oak wood someplace right here. Go ahead and grab uh, eight pieces. How about that? And then we'll turn those all into planks, and then we'll turn those planks all into buttons, and then we'll fly up here. Uh, because I need to add the button details on the edge of the logs, and I also need to add right here stairs on the other side so that you get your little archway kind of walking in and out of this place. Like so. All right. And then the buttons themselves, I got to circle around this whole thing, putting them on each one of these logs. Okay, the outside of this is finished. Now, let's get on the inside here and start clearing out all the sand here because I got to replace this with something else. I might do like a sandstone kind of floor. Maybe like uh, broken up a little bit. Uh, I kind of like how that looks. I'm actually going to try to do the interior of this building as opposed to just leaving it blank because I'm going to be in here quite a bit actually for uh, for breeding a Pokemon. I think that, that a lot of the Pokemon that I'm missing in the Pokedex will be gotten from the Ditto eggs I'm going to be breeding here. So I could actually throw the Dittos in there actually right away. Let's see, can I, can I actually just manage Pokemon? Let's see, where's my Dittos? I got a shiny one. Oh, actually, I'm going the wrong way. I got a shiny one, I know. And then I have a regular one someplace. Let's see, the shiny one should be under shinies. Yep, right here. Bang, there's one. And then the regular one, where did I put him? Right here. Bang, like that. All right, now, this isn't exactly ideal for, for Dittos, so do they like each other? Uh, has a crush on, but doesn't feel comfortable in this environment. Okay, so I need to change that up. Now, I think cakes are the best environment for these guys, but I don't have an unlimited supply of cakes, so I, I might have to hit up uh, maybe Peanut. He could probably get his hands on a bunch of cakes, or because I know he's been breeding dittos, or I think grass blocks work better, actually. Let me go replace this uh, ground with grass and see if they like that better. All right, did that help these guys get more attracted to each other? Right there. It's a little bit more attracted to Ditto every day. Okay, so these guys will produce an egg. They won't produce it very fast. Like I said, cakes are probably the best. There's ways to make it so that they'll be more attracted to each other by changing the ground here. But sand wasn't the thing, but it seems that uh, that grass actually is something that helps improve it. So these guys will eventually produce an egg. So I'll just leave them there while I do a lot of the building here. Now, as far as the inside of this place, the floor, I'm going to spam sandstone down in here kind of sporadically. Now, I am going to have to try to figure out where I'm going to put the PC and whatnot, because um, I want to have a PC in here so that I can, like right here, I can access the PC, but I can't actually move these around. This is just for storing them in the, the ranch block. I pick which ones I want to store in the ranch block. So I want to actually um, get access to the PC from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some of this here where in the, in the ground here. I'm going to have to leave a spot where I want to actually put the PC, which I can probably sacrifice one I have on me right now. But here, I'm just going to slap it right there for right now. Um, and then I'm going to take some sand blocks. I'm going to sprinkle them in here uh, oops, uh, periodically as well. Nothing too heavy on the sand, though. Uh, I'm probably going to have a, a little bit more right here, actually, as it's going through the doorway. Because that's where it would it, it would kind of seep in a little bit. Um, actually, I can probably put that one back just like that. Good, good. All right. And then, like I said, sporadic spots of sand throughout this. Nothing too fancy. 
And then we're gonna take some grass blocks and we're gonna sprinkle them in here too. Like so. Something uh, along the lines of this. And this is a little bit heavier because this is actually, they're not gonna remain grass blocks. They are going to uh, turn into path blocks by the time I'm done with them here. All right, so let's go ahead and turn these all into path blocks. And then this uh, this brown color that they turn into, I think, looks really good for uh, anything that involves, like, flooring. I use it all the time on, like, the pathways here, too. I think that looks good. Anything that's been walked on a lot. Oh, Duck Trio. Look at you go. Goodbye. Um, anything that has, uh, that's been walked on a lot, I think, looks good when you, when you add, like, path blocks to it. Um, after all, it is a path. Now, the, the reason why I have so many stair blocks in my here is because if I take these and put these upside down, I get this cobblestone look, uh, which I think looks amazing. Uh, I use this also in my path blocks, too, because I think it looks good. Uh, you don't really get that. You don't really have a good cut. Like, the side of a sandstone has kind of an interesting texture to it, but you can't get the top of it unless you flip one of these things upside down. So, um, let's, uh, let's move this one, actually. I'm going to probably have to uh, squeak in one other type of block in here, too, to really make this pop. See that, or I'll, maybe I'll just fill it all in with sandstone. Or I can actually do this, put like cracks in the floors. That actually works too, like that. That way it's not like all perfectly even. Now let's just slap sandstone in there. Yeah, I'm thinking something, something along the lines of this. And maybe throw one more path block in here, sure, why not? Awesome, so you can walk right across all of this here. Um, Sandstone and sandstone. Screw it. Yeah, that, screw it. That looks better. <laughs> Just do that. Um, and then right here, we'll throw another crack in the ground there. Perfect. All right, so the floor is complete in here now. Um, this this works because now we have the PC. We can move things around also. Obviously, this one I can't move because it's got that lock thing on it because it's in a ranch block. Uh, oh, there's a boss Garchomp over there. I wonder if I could beat that thing. That, that's going to be pretty tough. If it's a legendary, I don't care. Yeah, now it's legendary. So in case you guys don't know, uh, Master Balls only drop from rare bosses, so that's really all I really care about getting from that thing, so I don't really care about beating that one. Um, Alright, so this is basically done. Um, I do have to add a little bit of lighting in here. I can just throw some torches for right now. <clears throat> it's basically done um, as far as what I need it to be. I just needed to do to add up the landscape on the outside. All right, that takes care of the landscaping. Now left, the last thing to do in this area is to finish the foliage and the trees and whatnot. So let's start a tree like right here. Let's start a, let's start a palm tree right here. I think this will look good if I, if I have one right here. And bam, just like that. We got ourselves a palm tree here. Now I do need to go ahead and add the little finer details on it, like uh, a little bit of smoothing out of this right here. And if I can get over here, put one right there. Oh, of course it landed up there. <laughs> Alright, got it. <clears throat> Alright, so that smooths that out just a wee bit. And then, of course, the roots are the base of it here. I'm going to do something like that. And then, the final detailing, I'm going to need to go grab some, uh... I'm going to need to go grab some, uh, what are they called? The uh, cocoa uh, pods right here. Because I've been putting them on these trees just to make it look like, uh... Like there's, uh, coconuts kind of growing on them. Uh, the cocoa pods can, uh... Our cocoa beans can go up here and connect onto this so that they're, like... That one already grew like that. So that they're like coconuts growing on the top of the tree. I kind of like that. Okay, now this area right here is going to be a road leading that way. I just haven't quite put it in yet. So we're going to make sure that we kind of divide this up just a little bit so people know that that's actually a road. You don't want to be walking right there. I just totally misclicked and dropped all my torches. Nope, missed them. Got it. Um, so that's going to, that, that little fence there should help divvy that up just a little bit. Kind of mark this out just a little bit easier for the world to see. Now we need to add bushes into this place. I haven't forgot about the bushes. So let's go ahead and uh, sprinkle in a little variety of bushes in here. Something like that. Alright, and then along the back side here as well, we're going to mix it up just a wee bit. Alright, so by adding bushes into this place, um, it definitely makes it seem a whole lot more alive. Uh, rather than, because remember, this is desert. This is what desert looks like. It's just nothingness, you know, but by this starts looking a lot more lively and lush, you know. In fact, I could even add in a couple of bushes along the back side of this uh, to kind of make this place pop out a little bit more. Gotta go around the front side also and do the same thing. We gotta squeeze in some stuff in here too. This can actually be kind of well groomed since it's more towards the front of the building. And it should look pretty nice, so I don't really need to make it too overgrown or crazy. Hello, possibility of, an, of a Master Ball. Let's see if I can get one. Not a Master Ball. In fact, I don't have room for any of this. All right, yeah, so I'll work on the riverbank down there in a little bit. But I also realized that since we don't have 
these uh, like the, the the ranch block only extends out to four so right here is where it ends actually or it ends right here so this is actually a block of nothing actually it's not involving the ranch block at all that's why I decorated it up a little bit I actually could uh, let me get a little space here because I'm going to need it let's get this stuff for making a tree and put that away for right now um, what I could do is I could break some of this and have the have the leaves kind of flooding in here actually have the uh, the uh, not the leaves but the uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the bush is kind of breaking in through the wall a little bit right there because it's totally fine that they do. It doesn't interfere with the ranch block at all. Oh, they're up to purple hearts. Purple hearts, I'm about to get a random egg. Okay, so remember, dittos, when they breed, they pr produce random eggs, so you don't really know what they what they end up get, giving you. Uh, in fact, that was the whole premise of our last tournament, uh, was that, so. Um, so let's have this break on through as well, just like that. So where can I squeeze a cactus? I could put one right here. And it would grow. That doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's kind of really close to the road, but yeah, let's, let's see if I can find a spot over here for it. Here we go. Perfect. This is what I'm talking about. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and put one right here as well. Like that. Good. Now, I have dead bushes as well. Now, these things, I believe, can go on Podzel and Sand. But that's about it. So, um, I'm going to have to try to limit where I put these things. Because I don't really have any open spots for them. All right, I think that's it. I mean, I still have to finish the roads, obviously, and stuff like that. But I think the Poke Center, the the healing, uh, or not the Poke, not the Poke Center, but the uh, the breeding center is actually complete here for the town. And look at that, we got some dittos going at it. So these guys will eventually produce eggs. I'll be collecting them as I go and hatching them just to see what I can get, because I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot of Pokemon I'm missing from here. So uh, I wouldn't mind getting a couple more dittos and throwing them in that one as well. In fact, we could probably just replace all this with grass. But I mean, I don't have anything in here yet, so I'm not in any rush to do that. But Oh, 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 tripping on the tripping on the branch block there but all right you guys i think that's going to be it for this episode so hopefully you guys did enjoy it and if you did go down and smash that like button it helps me out a ton and thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode i will see you again from the pixmon revolution server thanks again for watching everybody and bye bye